Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today, I want to show you an overview of our new private subscribers section in your Castos dashboard. Uh, if you already have private subscribers on a private podcast or you have a podcast that's set to private, uh, you will not see this screen. But if you have not set up a private podcast or you're curious what a private podcast can do for you, generally it's, well, it's, as the name implies, it's a private podcast. It's not accessible through iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, generally not available out on the web that people can open uh, openly subscribe to. And a lot of people use this for uh, a private organization, a company-wide podcast, content that shouldn't be consumed by the public, um, or you are running a members-only course or co uh, consultancy. Uh, very popular these days because of uh, the global pandemic, but great for people who have uh, health and fitness practices, mental health practices, those kinds of things where putting out content on a weekly or monthly basis that goes to your members only, um, it's advantageous to run a private podcast to do those types of things. Okay, so let's go ahead and enable the private, private subscribers so you can see what this dashboard looks like. So if you don't have it enabled already, it says, Welcome to the Future of Podcasting, Private Subscribers. We'll go to my podcast and we'll assign this podcast to be the private podcast. So we'll go under distribution. We'll click on podcast is private. It'll say congratulations, the podcast is private and password protected. So you might have seen this before uh, in our old dashboard. Uh, there is still a global private podcast RSS feed that one could grab and distribute to um, folks that you don't want them signing up through uh, through an email address. And largely that's what we're going to take a look at in a moment in the subscriber panel. But you can still use our global private podcast link. It doesn't require anybody to sign up. Uh, it's just a link that you can send to people to get them to subscribe. Uh, maybe it's uh, it, not a uh, very important content that you're putting out and you, you don't really want to protect it to the level that our subscriber panel will do. So, right? so that's still available to you. We'll hit save podcast details. And now we'll go to our subscriber section. And this has been uh, one of the more dramatic updates uh, to our private podcasting features since we launched it a while ago. Uh, the overview, the dashboard will give you an overview of how many private subscribers you have, how many are active, how many have been revoked. Generally, you want to see this number maybe coinciding with your members-only offering. So if you have, again, the digital course that you sell, uh, in-house exercise training, or an education platform like an, a learning management system, this will kind of help you understand the health of your private podcast. And you can filter that down into different private podcasts if you have multiple private podcasts, but it's going to give you that global view. And then below, we have a revised, almost like a CRM, a dashboard of your contacts. So I'm gonna go ahead and add myself uh, to the to the list. Uh, I did not mean to put that there. I wanna put that there and then say Matt. We'll just say Matt test. And when I fill this out, I'm allowing somebody to uh, get an email to subscribe to this show. So when I fill out the person's name, obviously this is, that's their name, I fill out their email, this is how the link is sent to them uh, via email. This is where, the, where they'll get that private link to use in their podcast player. And then you tell them which show you want to be added to. Uh, and in this case, I only have one private show, but a private podcast, but if I had multiples, I could give them multiple links. So I'll hit add. And when I refresh the page, <clears throat> there's the... Uh, the user that I just tested, you could see that uh, when it was added, the private podcast that it was added to, and then at any point I can go in uh, and revise their name, revise their email, see if they're active, when they last joined. If I want to resend them uh, an activation, I can do that here. If I want to copy the private feed that they have. So maybe they you sent the email and three weeks later they say, I forgot where that email went or I deleted that email or I got a new phone and I don't, I don't have um, the private link anymore to the private podcast. You can copy the private feed here and send it to them uh, you know, through, your, through your own email or you can revoke or delete them. So maybe mm, you have a paid private podcast and their credit card doesn't go through or they canceled their membership and they're maybe still thinking about um, 
getting into this uh, private podcast later on, you can either revoke them, which will temporarily halt any podcast being delivered to their private feed, or delete them entirely, and they'll never get another episode again. They'd have to resubscribe, or you'd have to add them back to the show. Okay, We'll be adding more features as time marches on, so expect to see additional features for private podcasting. Uh, a lot of that, you can actually get a hint uh, of our one of our recent episodes that went out as of today's recording uh, on our audience podcast. Craig, uh, the founder of Castos, and I sit down to talk about how we perceive uh, the future of private podcasting, not just at Castos, but uh, at in the industry at large. So some typical things that you can do, like bulk edit actions, resend the activation, reactivate, revoke, delete. Uh, when you select all of your private users, you can do that through this dropdown. Uh, you can filter them depending on how many podcasts uh, or by podcasts you have or how many active and revoked members you have. Sorting options are all pretty self-explanatory and search for content by typing all of that stuff in. Uh, down below, uh, this you'll start to see this trickle into the rest of the Castos app uh, in the future, but direct links to our academy. If you're not already a, an academy uh subscriber go to it's free so you go to academy.castles.com or click one of these uh, course tiles here and that'll bring you right to the academy uh, learn how to do all kinds of things around podcasting marketing your podcast uh, podcast equipment etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so that's just a quick overview quick by uh, seven minutes or so of the private podcast subscriber panel stats global overview more actions better sorting more details per user things are going to get really fun around here. If you're a content creator, a podcast creator looking to monetize your podcast, have a members only podcast, have a company only podcast, this is the place to be. Castos.com. Check us out 14 day free trial. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you have any questions about private podcasting, leave them in the comments below or shoot us an email. Hello at castos.com. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.